Hey YouTube, welcome back to my silver, gold, and platinum stacking channel. I'm Florida Stacker. Good morning. It is 9.49 a.m. East Coast time in the United States on Monday, December the 14th. And I've got a package here from Atmex that I already started opening because, well, I began filming this video and then I had a camera error. So kind of had to start over. But uh, for those of you that have been following my channel for a long time now, I like to, I kind of set some goals for myself on uh, finishing some tubes of silver also like to pick up gold and platinum and a couple of the tubes I got going right now. So I'm, I'm currently working on a tube of the 2021 Britannias. I've got more of these coming in. We'll see those soon on an upcoming unboxing video. Uh, I've been filling tubes of silver American Eagles all year long. And right now I've got two more of these 2020s in a tube I'm building. So I'm going to build another tube of 2020 American Silver Eagles. And for those of you wondering why 2020s, well, I get them from the same price now as the random dates. So I just go with the new ones. All right. If i got a choice in the matter and the same price, I'll just pick up the new ones. And these are three ounces of the uh, Silvertown Buffalo Rounds. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So today's purchase was actually for some silver before Black Friday. I've noticed that um, my shipments have been very slow. Actually, my Black Friday SD bullion purchase still hasn't arrived and uh, neither has my Atmex purchase. So I do have one more package that did come in, but that was purchased after Black Friday. So kind of wondering what's going on there. Need to dig into that, uh, but here we go. So got these Buffalo rounds and we're gonna keep working on filling that tube. So let's go ahead and Get the receipt out and take a look and see what we paid for these here. As you know, silver spot price fluctuates. And uh, so of course, yeah. So I definitely over overpaid for these. And this order was placed on 11.7. So go ahead and block out some of the personal information here. Let's see if I can, yeah, I think that's blocked out enough. So you can see that the order was placed on 11.7. And uh, looks like it shipped. Go ahead and block this out again on the 17th of November. So it's been a minute since uh, I've gotten this one. It's just been some time since I've been able to open up this package. Yeah, I know, guys. It's true. I actually do receive packages of silver and uh, sit on them for sometimes up to two weeks uh, before I have the opportunity to film a video and bring it to you guys here. So, yeah. These are four silver buffalo rounds, and I paid uh, $28.22 each. Spot price was definitely higher back then uh, than it is today. And in case you're wondering what spot price is today, let's just go ahead and take a look real quick. We'll hit refresh here on the One Gold website and take a look. And silver's currently going for a uh, spot bid price of $24.09. It's up $0.17 cents on the day, a little less than 1%. So... Silver uh, hanging in there today. So here we go. And it looks like these are going to be different. Yeah, these are going to be some different uh, Buffalo rounds this time. When you order these Buffalo rounds from Atmex, uh, you get whatever they've got. They don't they don't specify the mint. It's not quite as detailed as uh, JM Bullion, for instance. So let's go ahead and grab that tube one more time. And uh, so, yeah, the Buffalo rounds are... <clears throat> They're minted by multiple different uh, independent mints uh, here in the United States. I imagine they're probably minted elsewhere, but uh, I'm not quite sure where this one is from. Actually, it's from the Highland Mint. It's got the HM logo there in the uh, bottom right part of the round, just below the Native American chin. So it's got the word Liberty, the iconic Native American, and the buffalo on this round so rounds not like coins not backed by any um, government monetary uh, fiat currency so when you're when you're looking at something like here we go let's pull out the american silver eagle right which is the official silver coin of the united states um, three nines fine silver just like this round it's it, actually both of these products here contain the exact same amount of silver so you may be wondering why one is uh, worth more or costs more in dollars than the other and that's just recognizability uh, the american silver eagle is the most liquid uh, coin and it's a coin because it's backed by one u.s dollar even though this coin uh, you know 
and trades for 28 to 30 dollars right now well, with spot being in the 24s and you can get this one cheaper which is one of the reasons why i do recommend adding some generic silver to your stack to keep your dollar cost average down and for those of you that like to uh, purchase silver and then later trade it or turn it into gold um, i usually do that with my generic rounds if i'm going to trade for some gold uh, maybe i want to buy an ounce of gold and i've only got say a thousand dollars saved up and gold takes a, a big dive, right? It's down 100 bucks over the week or two weeks, and I want to pick up an ounce of gold. Uh, well, then, you know, maybe I'll take 40 or so generic rounds and with some fiat currency and convert that over to an ounce of gold. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I do stack this um, generic silver. Whereas for the long haul, you know, I'm going to be more focused on holding these American Eagles for the long haul. So build, build a big solid stack of gold and silver American Eagles. And some of this other stuff is will come with me, um, you know, down the long journey, but some of it will end up becoming gold in the future. So here we go. Yeah, we got, uh, let's go ahead and pop these open and then we'll bust uh, the rounds back out of that tube. Actually, I'm going to rip this glove here by trying to do this. So let's go ahead and pull it off camera where it's a little easier for me to do here real quick. So hope everyone had a great weekend and uh, I took a week off from making videos and uh, I needed it. A lot of Christmas shopping needed to be done. I'm also in the process of uh, selling my home and buying a new home. Uh, still going to be here in the great state of Florida, but um, check this out. Interest rates, right? I got locked in at 2.25%. 2.25% 2 on a 30-year fixed VA loan. And um, I couldn't be happier with that, right? 2.25%. That's amazing. So really happy about that. So got that coming up plus Christmas. Um, had a birthday party to go to this weekend. Um, went to the roller skating rink and then later actually ended up at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida uh, for a few hours. We're there for maybe like six hours. Gosh, it's so hard to do when your hands are extended like that. These gloves on. So I'm going to have to do it behind the camera. There we go. Uh, yeah, so spent a little time at Universal Studios. Wasn't too packed. Definitely large uh, South American presence there. A lot of uh, tourists from South America. Didn't see very many from Asia or obviously Europe. Typically when I go to the theme parks in Central Florida, uh, large uh, UK, German, Japanese, Chinese, uh, those are the big uh, tourist groups outside of uh, Brazilians, uh, South Americans in general, but mostly from uh, Brazil. Go to the local uh, outlet malls in Orlando, Florida, right, to try to do some Christmas shopping. Uh, you need to speak Portuguese sometimes. Uh, it's just very crowded. A lot of people go there because it's uh, very cheap prices, and I believe it's tax-free or duty-free for uh, non-U.S. citizens. So good times. Anyways, back on the silver. So we've got uh, four more ounces of silver here. Let's go ahead and... So these are the Silver Town Buffalo Rounds, and you can see they have a lot more of a proof-like uh, background of frosted buffaloes. So you can see the 39 Fine, uh, United States of America. Now let's compare that to the Highland Mint. And uh, the Highland Mint has more of a, a subtle matte finish. It's not quite a, a proof-like background. Actually, uh, the details also on the buffalo, uh, they're all there. All the same details on the actual American bison or buffalo. Uh, however, they're not quite as frosted as with the Silvertown. So once more, this is the Highland Mint round and the Silvertown round. Uh, here, in case you are wondering, now I hear a lot about the Asahi buffalo rounds as being the best ones on the market. And I've seen images of them, obviously, um, online. But I uh, have yet to be able to pick any of those up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got one more here. Let's go ahead and grab this guy from the Highland Mint. So now we got three in there from Silvertown and four from the Highland Mint. Honestly, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I mean, you can see there's a difference uh, when looking at the edge of both of uh, the, the rounds uh, here through the tube. But it doesn't matter. If I were to take these to my local coin shop, uh, he's going to go what you got. And I'm just going to say generic, right? It doesn't even matter, honestly, that it's Buffalo. Uh, if it's generic silver, he's going to give me the same price, regardless of 
the design. I just um, stick with the buffaloes, especially when they're on sale. They do come on sale quite a bit, uh, quite frequently, uh, from the various mints through the online dealers. And so anytime you can convert your dollars over to silver and gold at a better value, that's that's a good thing, right? You know, because we're trying to we're trying to store our wealth here in physical tangible assets like gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, these are your physical tangible savings account, right? This is this is real money right here, and you can do it. It's pretty easy. You just uh, got to set a budget and uh, make those weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly purchases of silver. And in a short time, by sticking to it, sticking to your budget, not going crazy, and uh, racking up a bunch of debt, obviously, with credit cards, you can have a great credit score. You can have physical tangible money savings here at the house. You can you know, have a little money in the in the bank account, and I'm telling you, it'll it'll change your life. It'll change your life. Stacking is a is a way of life, and it really influences a lot of uh, what used to be negative habits, right? Especially when it comes to financial stuff like uh, where you spend your money. Uh, the nice thing about stacking silver, and I've said this in a lot of videos, is that you actually get to spend money. You're buying something, but really what you're doing is just converting your nation's currency over to silver, which stores that value. All right, everybody. I hope you all had a great weekend once more. Happy Monday to everybody. I will see you soon on another video. Four more ounces of silver for the stack. Take care, keep stacking, and we'll see you soon.